Hello, this is Ms. DB. In this video, we are going to look at rotations and we are going to practice using GeoGebra to make our rotations. So a rotation is a transformation that turns a figure around a fixed point, which is called the center of rotation. And a rotation is an isometry. That means that the image of the rotated figure is congruent to the pre-image. So this figure, the red figure, after the rotation will look just like the blue figure, except it will be turned so it's in a different place. We will be rotating about the origin when we do ours. One, two, three, and four, all you need to say is whether it appears to be a rotation, and if not, say that if it appears to be a reflection or a translation, explain that. So the center of rotation will move our original pre-image point to a new point and these distances will be congruent so from A to P will be equal to from A prime to P and then this angle would be the angle of rotation so you could draw rotations by hand like this you would need a straight edge and a protractor to measure the angle but we're going to be rotating in the coordinate plane so we're going to be using some rules when we rotate 90 degrees about the origin, we rotate counterclockwise and our coordinate x, y becomes negative y, x. So the x coordinate moves to the y spot and the y coordinate moves to the x spot, but you take the opposite sign of it. We will also rotate 180 degrees about the origin. The rule is easier to remember. You just take the opposite sign of both of your coordinates and don't move them. All right, so to draw rotations in the coordinate plane, you can use graph paper to create these if you want. And I did put some grids here. So if you printed your worksheet out, or if you want to use the word tools where you add segments, you can do that. But we're going to graph the pre-image first. So we need a polygon, a triangle of A, B, C with these coordinates. And then we're also going to graph its rotation after it has been rotated 90 degrees using the rule, the coordinate point x, y will become negative y, x. So first let's get our pre-image graphed, and I'm going to do that in GeoGebra. So using GeoGebra, I just want to make sure I can see everything. I need the point 3, 4. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I can zoom in a little bit and still get all my points in. If you're zoomed in, it's easier to put the points in the right spot. All right, and then I'm going to check my settings in GeoGebra. So the website is just um, www.geogebra.org and then calculator. And when I get here, I want to make sure that my axes are shown. If yours aren't shown, click on that. That the grid is shown and that I am going to snap to grid. That means that the points will go to the integer coordinates instead of like decimal points if I'm just a little bit off. So make sure those are checked. And then I'm going to come over here, and I'm in the calculator mode right now, like a graphing calculator, but I want to make a triangle. So I'm going to go to the geometry tools. And when you click on this menu, especially if you're using just part of your screen or if you're on a small tablet, you won't see all of the options that are available. And you need to go all the way to the bottom and click on more. And now more options are available, including a polygon option. So I can make a triangle instead of just making points and then connecting them and da-da-da-da-da. So here's a polygon. I'm going to make my polygon, and it tells you some, some hints down here. It says select all vertices, then first vertex again. So I want my first point to be at negative 2, 3. So at negative 2, 3, I use my mouse and click, and it creates point A for me. And then B is at 3, 4, so I go over 3 and up 4, make another point. And then my next point is at 0, 1. And then go back to A and click, and it'll create your polygon. You can also check the coordinates by clicking back on the calculator and seeing there's some extra stuff here that you don't have to worry about. But I can see that my points are where I wanted them to be. OK, back to the geometry tools. I'm going to rotate this about a point. So make sure that your More button is selected because you won't see the rotation option unless you are seeing everything. And look for transformation. There it is, transform. 
and I want to pick rotate about a point and again it'll tell you what to do it says rotate around point oh to rotate around point I gotta select it again select object to rotate and center point and then enter angle so I'm going to select the oh I forgot to do the point that I'm going to rotate about back up find the point tool make a point at the origin so we have something to rotate it about okay try this again rotate about the point I'm going to select the polygon and the point I want to rotate about and then enter the angle which the problem said to do 90 degrees we want counterclockwise and then click OK the point has been rotated or the triangle has been rotated and it has automatically marked all of these vertices with what their values would be. Let's check and see if we could have done this by hand, we could have find the vertices. So the rule is that x, y will become negative y. So x, y for the first one of coordinate a would be at negative 2, 3. So the y coordinate moves to the x spot and you take the opposite sign. So this should be at negative 3, negative 2. So A should be at negative 3, negative 2, yes. And I did this earlier, so I'm going to just move my box a little bit. And there I got that correct. A prime is at negative 3, negative 2. Okay, B, it was at 3, 4, so we should put the Y coordinate for the X and put a negative and then move the X coordinate to the Y spot. So it should be at negative 4, 3. So do we have B at negative 4, 3? Yes, we do. And then finally, our C coordinate, the Y becomes the X, but we have to take a negative of it, the opposite of it, and then zero moves to the Y spot, so negative one, zero, and yes, that is where that is at negative one, zero. We can't take the opposite sign of zero. So now you have um, the option of taking a screenshot of this and just pasting it on the worksheet, or you can, um, you can save your work and attach it. This is just different kinds of calculators you can use. It doesn't have the nice Desmos get a link button, but if you can figure out how to do that, you're welcome to share a link as well. So you can do six, seven, and eight. Keep practicing that way. Make sure you note if it's 90 degrees or 180 degrees. And then um, there's a few more problems to do. Number 10 has to do with this figure here for both 10A and 10B. So you might want to use GeoGebra to sketch this pentagon, or you might want to do it um, using a piece of scratch paper. You do not have to attach the sketch for 10A and 10B. So you don't have to um, draw it out if you don't want to, or you don't have to draw it on the worksheet. All right, so it's a little bit um, good to try a new tool. So try GeoGebra if you haven't given it a try yet this year. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.